This is Amstark, in this video we are looking at the chemistry of food. So this will include carbohydrates, lipids and proteins. So first of all we'll look at carbohydrates. Because carbohydrates provide us with the fuel that makes the reactions of life possible. So they contain the chemical elements carbon, hydrogen and oxygen and this is the same as lipids. So carbohydrates are made from units of sugars. Now this can contain only one sugar unit like glucose, whereas others can contain two sugar units which are joined together like sucrose. Now all of these small carbohydrate units are referred to as simple sugars. Complex carbohydrates such as starch and cellulose are made up of long chains of simple sugar units which are bonded together. Now carbohydrate rich food includes potatoes, rice and pasta and often these carbohydrates will be broken down to glucose which is used in cellular respiration to provide energy for the metabolic reactions in cells. Now cellulose is another carbohydrate which is crucial for supporting the material in plants. Next we need to look at lipids as lipids are fats and oils and they are the most important source of energy store in your diet. So when lipids are combined with other molecules, they are a very important feature of the cell membranes, the hormones and the nervous system. So lipids are made of fatty acids which are joined to a molecule of glycerol. Now the glycerol is always the same but the fatty acids can vary. Now different lipids can include the oils and this can include things like sunflower oil or olive oil but there are also the solid fats such as butter and cheese. Now whether it is a solid fat or an oil depends on the combination of fatty acids. So finally we have proteins. As proteins are used for building up the cells and tissues of your body as well as being the basis of your enzymes. So between 15% to 16% of your body mass is made from protein. Now a protein molecule is made up of long chains of small units called amino acids and they are joined into long chains. So different proteins are made from different arrangements of amino acids. And the long chains of amino acids are folded and they make a specific 3D shape. So these specific shapes allow other molecules to fit into the protein. However, the bonds that hold these proteins into the 3D shapes are very sensitive to temperature and to the pH and they can be broken easily. And when this happens, the protein can be denatured. But when the proteins function, they are used to carry out many functions in your body. And these functions include structural components of tissues like muscles and tendons. There are enzymes which can act as catalysts. They can be hormones like insulin and they also can be antibodies which are part of the immune system. So those are some of the three main types of food, carbohydrates, lipids and proteins. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.